Hi, I'm Yusuf. It is the second video of the sample two. We will machine two uh, the rest two sides. Okay, copy the current operation. and change the floor surfaces you shouldn't forget uh, you shouldn't forget uh, you should choose all levels we click OK and click generate you must change the tool overhang to 50% there was tool pad in uh, this uh, area so I changed the tool and deleted this uh, tool pad okay let's do how it's cutting if you must use uh, diameter 8 how will you delete this tool pad? let me show it to you ok right click tool pad edits choose the unwanted tool pad and press delete and you can delete these tool pads but you must you have to check the tool pads again To see uh, if there is a gouge after deleting these tool pads. Okay, now there is this chamfer. <coughs> we can machine this chamfer with a chamfer mill or, or a classical radius uh, radius mill. I will show the first. Uh, I will first machine with a uh, classical mill but I will not uh, machine it with ZL profile generally uh, these kind of area areas are machined with ZL profile but I will machine it with contour surface area uh, eight R dot five. I choose the surface, change, flip the material, choose the cut direction, change the cut pattern to helical. You can change the step over. I click display. Okay. But I must extend the tool pads. I change them from here minus 20 and 120 you can see the extension click OK tool axis tool axis is that vector and I click generate 
Project vector is wrong. Normal to drive. Okay. Now we must change the engage and retract. Arc normal to tool axis. And generate again. Uh, it makes helical move so it doesn't make any engage and retracts in uh, middle of tool paths. And there's extension. So it's a good quality cutting. Uh, but in serial works, uh, you should use a chamfer mill. And let me show you how to use the chamfer mill. I again choose the contour surface area, uh, counter sink. It is that kind of tool. Okay, I choose the area again, flip the material. Now in cut direction, I choose the lower arrow, change it to zig and zero. Now I can see a, a one single tool pad, but uh, tool axis isn't right so I can't see it properly I changed the uh, tool axis and now you can see the tool pad but tool pad is uh, must be lower than the uh, minor diameter so I changed the end step to 100 no minus 20 click ok I change the engage before generating arc normal to tool axis click ok and click generate now you can there is a tool pad that uses uh, the chamfer mill and uh, extends the tool tool pad lower the minor uh, diameter okay this side is okay so it's the last side I copy past the operation <coughs> And just change the floor just change the floor and click generate uh, you can see that that you can guess that there are some un, uh, unmachined areas left material What were we doing? We were changing the containment and tool over rank to overcome this. Okay, there is a, an unmachined surface. It can be machined from this side with a ball mill or from this side from a regular mill, flat mill. 
Uh, I generally choose not using the Bowman because they are expensive. Okay. I click create operation, middle planner, floor wall, uh, and the 11, pardon, the 12. I choose the wall geometry and change the tool axis. Okay, I should use profile. That uh, I will machine it on the, the half of it. Um, okay, I must uh, measure the distance, Third, not 35 plus this. Okay, and floor blank thickness must be 40 so by writing the, them uh, you can machine the uh, until the half uh, half of this pocket okay uh, i click generate and if you want multiple passes you should write depth per cut now tool always lifts up if we change the tool pads uh, change the transfer rapids even you choose direct previous plane backup uh, yes the air moves get smaller when you change the height okay you can minimize the air moves but you can do this uh, one more thing transfer rapid plane Twenty or fifteen, and you must change clearance, shortest distance. And click generate. Now you will have uh, square tool pads and more uh, and safer tool pads. Okay, how will we machine the opposite side? I copy it, paste it, change the tool axis, that's all. And click generate. Okay, the last operation is drilling. Create operation, all making drilling and you can drill from this side or opposite side and click OK and click generate You can change the drilling depths from here, for example, depth to 28 or you can write 30 and uh, you can change the start points from top of sets you can change it from here 
okay that's all for this video and now okay let's look the all uh, all the tall pads and uh, see if we were forgot anything Okay, that's all. We haven't forgotten anything. <clears throat> There's just one area that we haven't machined. It's that area. Uh, we can't machine from uh, with four axis uh, in by. Change it to rotary axis. Uh, we can machine it with five axis, or we will uh, position it to a three axis machine and uh, uh, align from a flat uh, flat side and machine this with a mill. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask me on comments. And if you like the video, please press the like button. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.